Now, that leads us to our last guiding principle, and that's black excellence. Now, although it's last, it is definitely not least. If we're going to rebuild African civilization, what foundation are we looking to? For the Black Achievement Fund, we quite naturally are going back to the height of African civilization. And that is when Africans laid the foundations for civilization, period, and pioneered all of the world's knowledge ancient Kemet or ancient Egypt. That is our inspiration. What they created was excellent. What you have in you is genius. African people are the oldest people in the world. The knowledge that we possess through our DNA, the knowledge that has been transferred to you, is through blood and it's through this knowledge we're going to do for the world what we did in the past. And that is showcase what man is capable of when his heart is pure. Showcase what man is capable of when material possessions aren't the sum total of a person's value. When I'm a historian, and when I study ancient history before capitalism, what I found was that in ancient Africa, people were esteemed by how well they did something. And that's how you gained status in society. You baked the best bread, you grew the best yams, you made the best saddles, you trained the best horses. You were distinguished by how, how well you did something. There is a famous uh, obelisk ob that was created by Hatshepsut, who is the only uh, female pharaoh in ancient Egyptian history. And the obelisks are created by one solid piece of granite. And this particular one was about, I would say, a little less than half complete. But somehow, during the creation of it, there was a crack. Instead of them trying to repair the crack, they abandoned the entire operation that took, I, I can't even tell you how many, perhaps years, to actually attempt. The level of excellence allowed them to create structures that still stand today, C to mix paint that has withstand, <laughs> withstood rain, sleet, wind, sand, all of that for literally thousands of years. So in order for the Black Achievement Fund to resurrect African civilization, we have to return to black excellence. When I was growing up, they used to say, you gotta be what? Twice as smart as a black, uh, as a white guy and work twice as hard for the same opportunity. And because of that, you had the black first in this, the black first in that, the black first in this. Every single black person who uh, broke the color barrier and went into corporate America understood that all white people were looking at them to fail and that they were holding the entire race on their shoulder when they were performing. So we need to go back to those values. And the values that we have, the guiding principles that we have is how the Black Achievement Fund is going to create new black communities that embrace and uh, project an African worldview. In conclusion, there's a reason we ended with black excellence. And that's because we believe that the guiding principles that came before this and the Black Achievement Fund itself will allow for black excellence to exist. All we simply seek to do is to allow our fullest potential to shine through. In order to do so, we have, the, we have to have that opportunity, we have to have the funding, and we have to have the mindset. So the Black Achievement Fund is the physical organ which seeks to manifest this. And our 10 guiding principles is the mental structure upon which we seek to build this. We are firm believers that given the opportunity, we can, we can fulfill our fullest potential. And that's all any human being is, try to, is, is trying to do. Once capitalism or the, I won't even say capitalism, once simply seeking materials is taken out of the equation, once 
Black pride is added to the equation. Once the ability to be spiritual and work at the same time is added to the equation, we believe we as a people will reach our fullest potential and we will nudge humankind to reach their fullest potential. So we thank you for the opportunity to explain our guiding principles and hope that you look into our organization further. Thank you.